Hey guys, it's Mark from Biker Bits Australia. Just doing a review on a new piece of um, software that I've just come across. Um, it's called Highlight Hunter. I was actually um, messaged uh, on YouTube from the guys that actually make it. Um, it's a piece of software that after you've done you know, a whole heap of writing and you've taken a whole heap of footage, you can run it through this little bit of software and it'll actually find the highlights that you want to actually use in your edited um, in the edited film. The way it works is basically it'll work with anything, any camera that you have. Um, what you do is as you're driving, as you're going along, and if something happens that you want, that you know that you're going to want to use in your footage, you basically put your hand over the camera for a second or whatever, and then you don't have to turn your camera on, you don't have to turn it off, you just leave it running and then just simply do that. When you get home after a long day's ride of, um, on your trip or whatever you're doing, you just simply run that, that uh, footage, now it could be a bloody hour's worth of footage, two hours, whatever it is, run it through the software and it'll actually find all those highlighted sp uh, spots, which is using the, the, the hand part, and it will take the previous 30 seconds. Now it also has a, uh, a setting there that you can change that. It could be 10 seconds, one minute, two minutes, whatever you want. Um, and it'll actually take a copy of that off your original footage. It won't delete your original footage. It takes a copy of that and will put it um, in a separate folder or wherever. You can tell it where you want it to put it. So then basically it'll go through that whole lot and grab all those individual pieces so that when you're using your editing software, I mean I use uh, Sony Vegas, um, I can just grab those pieces and put them, put them into the timeline, and without minimal, you know, searching and trying to find all those bits and cutting them out and all that kind of stuff. Um, fantastic! I reckon it's uh, white man magic stuff. So what I'll do is um, I'm going to jump on the bike. It's raining at the moment, but uh, as soon as I get a bit of a break, I'll uh, jump on the bike, do a bit of a test run with it, and uh, then I'll show you on the computer how simple and easy this thing is. Um, it's it's, it's going to save me hours, hours of work. Um, you know, I'm sitting on the computer uh, doing up the videos. The other thing is that so many times that, you know, we, I, because I hate having long bits of um, footage, so I'm always turning the, you know, putting the camera on, then turning it off, and what happens is a lot of the times you'll find that shit, something happens, and you, you don't have enough time to turn the camera on um, to capture that. So I'm, I'm really, really excited about this. Um, and yeah, look, thanks to the guys. It's free. It's actually free. You can get a free version of it. With the free version, I think the processing time is slower and you also get a watermark on your footage. So if you don't want that, which I wouldn't think you'd want it, you simply pay I think it's $29.99, which is bugger all. Um, the guys actually gave me a complimentary thing, so thanks guys for that. Um, yeah, so we'll go and have a look at it. Uh, I'll see you out on the road and then we'll have a look at it on the uh, computer. Okay, so the rain's now stopped so I can get out on the bike. I've uh, turned the, the drift camera on so it's running now. Basically all I've got to do is start it. So it's now recording. The old helmet on, get this bike started up. What I'll do is um, go out for a ride, I don't know how long, we'll just go for a ride. And then as I go along, I'll just mark certain parts by covering my hand over the camera. And um, when we get back to the computer, that software, Highlight Hunter, should um, uh, grab all those out for me, which is going to be bloody fantastic. So going through that bridge might be a pretty good look, so we'll highlight it. Simple as that.
there you have it, we're back. Now we'll go and have a look and see what it, how, uh, how that software performs. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take the little card out of the um, drift camera, which I've already done. I've already transferred the um, files onto my computer. You can actually have it so that the program will look directly to this, but I always like to copy um, my original files onto my computer, so I've got a copy of it. Um, so now we'll have a look at the program and see what happens. Okay, so this is the Highlight Hunter program. This is the only interface that you have to worry about, or that you've got. I'll go into the settings first. In here you've got highlight duration, so you can change how long it will uh, do the highlights for. So from 5 seconds all the way to 2 minutes. On your bookmark detection, now that, what that means is that if you, sometimes if you go into a dark spot it'll record, it'll think it's a highlight, you're indicating a highlight. So, or you wave your hand in front of the camera by accident. Um, so you can make it um, stricter or, or, or loose, or they call it looser or loosest. So just depending on what works for you, you just set that wherever you want. Your accidental highlights, the first 10 seconds of the video, you can make it ignore it. You know, whether you're putting your helmet on and looking around and stuff like that, you can tell it not to do a highlight in that time. And then you have the customer experience, uh, experience improvement program where you send uh, information to them or, or not. That's up to you what you do. Okay, so in here, you've got a choice of selecting a single video for it to process and pick the highlights out of it. Or you can select a folder with a whole heap of videos and go through all the videos in that folder and run all the highlights for you. Um, in the next bit down here, this is just where you want the uh, highlights to be uh, to be put. You can have it put in with the originals, or you can have a separate folder to, for them to, all to go into. So I'll just have them go into a separate folder. I'll just do one single video, and I'll select one, which will be that one there, which is I think it's two gig in size, and I think it's about 23 minutes worth of footage. So we've put that in there and now we'll just tell it to scan it. So it's telling us that it's going to be scanning file 001.move and basically that's your progression, progression bar here. It should tell us in a minute. So it's saying it's going to take 8 minutes to process that. So I suppose you can uh, <coughs> basically let it do its thing, go off, make a cup of coffee. There you go, we're just about done. Saying less than one minute. Beautiful. How many did we get? Cool. So we got uh, ten highlights. Ah, oh, and it says we just saved you about ten minutes of tedious video editing time and found ten highlights. Um, I reckon it saved me more than ten minutes. So yeah, we do want to view them now. And there we have it. There's the ten highlights. Is we'll just open this one up. Oh, it's a bit big. So this is um, 30 seconds prior to me putting my hand over the camera to initiate the highlight. So all I'm doing here is uh, I've taken the camera off the helmet, just holding it in my hand, getting a few different angles. And now I'm not crashing. Just whacking it back on. And then we should see, there we go, signifying the highlight. So simple as that, that's pretty bloody cool isn't it? That saves me heaps of time and also I, I know on at, at sometimes I've missed, I've put the, uh, done the video and uploaded it to YouTube and I've, I've missed something because I didn't look all the way through a uh, particular file so this hopefully will um, make sure I don't do that too. Well there you go, that's Highlight Hunter. Absolute brilliant software if you ask me. Um, I'll certainly be using this. Um, it's going to save me so much time sitting in front of this stupid bloody computer sorting through uh, uh, film footage trying to find all the highlights. Um, yeah, I mean it's only 30 bucks. You can, you can get it free, try it, see if you like it. If you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. 
Um, I've, I did a test on it to see whether um, when I ran it through the uh, software if it degraded the quality of the, the footage and uh, it made no difference to the footage so I was really impressed with that. That was one thing I was concerned about. Um, yeah, so it's only 50 meg to download, it installs bloody, yeah, quite, very easily and to use it, the interface as you've seen it, it's just so simple. Yeah, really good stuff. Um, so there you go, keep on riding.